G'day guys, welcome to Primal Waters. Uh, today we're going to have a look at a video I did back probably uh, probably about eight months ago. Uh, it was about a nine foot female great white shark that was supposedly being devoured by something colossal in Western Australia. Uh, I'm going to go over that with today's video. Uh, for those of you who are new to the channel and uh, have not heard this story before, uh, I will link in the description bar down below. There's a documentary called The Hunt for the Super Predator. It goes for about an hour. It's a documentary about uh, uh, the missing shark. It's really interesting to watch, so go check it out. It also gives us some really cool images of these waters in Western Australia, which are absolutely fantastic. There's a huge uh, array of different types of marine animals that uh, con conjugate there uh, this time uh, each year uh, from uh, orcas giant squids uh, blue whales uh, all different types of sharks and stuff so it's a beautiful area and would love to be able to uh, go go there one day and check it all out but i'll give you a quick summary uh, of this story and uh, let you guys know uh, what actually took place so in 2000, uh, 2003 australian scientists uh, tagged a three meter female great white shark which they called uh, shark alpha uh, four uh, four months after uh, the shark was tagged the uh, device was washed up about 2.5 miles uh, from when it was last attached uh, scientists retrieved the data from the tag and what they found was uh, quite surprising the information showed that the device experienced a rapid plunge in depth, uh, descending to around about 500 metres. So it seems that the shark was chased or it was um, captured and taken to that depth. Uh, it, it also revealed the temperature uh, rise from 46 degrees Fahrenheit, which is uh, about 8 Celsius. So that's the, uh, the temperature, the water around the shark. Uh, it changed to 78 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 25.5 uh, degrees uh, Celsius. So obviously at this point, uh, the shark was consumed by something. Um, this temperature remained for the next eight days until the, uh, the tag was uh, released or regurgitated or whatever you want to call it and it made its way to the coastline. Now, scientists believe that uh, this temperature suggests that it was some type of animal's uh, digestive system. So um, what they're saying is that this shark was consumed. Now, the location where this actually took place in Western Australia, in the Great Australian Bight, uh, called Bruma, Bruma Canyon, which is located about 70 kilometres uh, south of uh, the southern Western Australia, and like I mentioned before, this area's um, got a huge range of different types of sea animals that uh, come here at certain times of the year. Uh, there's some type of minerals that are, are released from the uh, uh, from the ocean floor that create a, um, I guess, a smorgasbord of food. So obviously, if you got uh, the smaller plankton food, the fish are going to eat that, and then bigger fish are going to eat those fish, and so forth. So. Um, it's a unique area and I really suggest you watch the documentary because not only obviously they talk about the disappearance of the shark but you, you get to see some really cool, um, uh, you get to see this area which looks absolutely beautiful. Now um, the, the usual suspects I guess um, you put it down to uh, for this possibility of the shark being devoured is uh, orcas. Orcas frequent this, these waters a fair bit. We know from video footage or evidence that uh, or orcas uh, prey on uh, great white sharks for their liver. Uh, another one is giant squid, which are found in these areas as well. And I guess the uh, the main suspect, you would say, would be another great white shark. Um, so um, those three uh, sea animals uh, are obviously... Uh, what could have uh, eaten the, uh, the the female great white shark? Now the orca, I'm, I'm going to rule the orca out uh, only because uh, going on the information saying about the uh, the shark taking a uh, descent 500 meters down, um, uh, orcas seem to. Now I'm not an expert, but I'm only going by what I've seen. Um, seem to uh, when they hunt their prey, they tend to try and keep it at the surface. Uh, tire it down and then consume it. I can't really see an orca chasing a shark 
uh, to that depth and consuming it down there. So I'm rolling out the orca. Uh, giant squid, yeah, possibly. Um, how big a giant squid would have to be to eat a nine-foot shark? Uh, also, you can remember, uh, you know, you might have a giant squid, but their mouth on these are really small. So, you know, for it to, to eat the shark and the device at the same time, yeah, I don't know. It has to be like a kraken-sized squid. Um, obviously, the great white shark, we know they also prey on their own uh, species. Um, but uh, the, the only thing I have a problem with that is, which I'll get get, get into in a minute, uh, but uh, the great white shark, uh, these waters in West Australia are home to massive great white sharks, huge ones. Now, I've talked about in other videos about stories that go back 60 years where fishermen and whalers would encounter very large sharks. They would uh, estimate the size of these sharks to be around about eight to nine meters in length. So, uh, the possibility of one of these sharks still existing out there, it could be. But uh, the reason why I'm kind of, I don't know, it, it more than likely is a great white shark. But the only issue I have with it is that I've always thought great white sharks, uh, when they do uh, hunting, uh, they swim close to the sea floor looking up, looking to see what's up top. Uh, they see something they're interested in, and then they hit it. I normally th thought they would consume um, uh, whatever they caught on the surface. Um, w would a shark take another shark to that depth and consume it down there? I don't know. Um, that's the only thing that kind of puzzles, puzzles me a bit. Probably is, but uh, there you go. Um, but then there's another idea that I thought. Um, like I've said before, uh, the ocean is a big place, unexplored. Um, what is it, 95% still unexplored, uh, the ocean floor and stuff like that. What if there's an unknown species of uh, animal out there that we don't know about um, that frequent these waters? You know, the possibility is huge, right? You can't just um, look inside the box. you got to look outside the box. So to think that uh, us humans... Um, have found every species of animal on the planet is is silly man you know you can't say there's some sea animal you know you can't say there's something in the ocean that we know about there has to be something down there that's new to us so the possibilities of an unknown species it could be so but uh, there you go guys um that's a, a i guess a summary for you, those of you who are new to the channel have never heard this story before uh, this took place back in 2003. It's an old story, but uh, I just want to share it for you, for you guys who are new to the channel. Uh, like I said, go check out the link down below. Go watch the documentary. It's quite interesting. And go um, and uh, see for yourself. Uh, let me know in the comments section down below what you think uh, happened to this shark. Uh, remember to hit the like button, share this video. And uh, if you're new to this channel, please subscribe. Until next time, I'll see you in the next video.